everybody, this is Julie with ReadySetStamp.com and today we're going to make a Darling Little Owl pillow box and this is from Lori Whitlock. So um, let's just get started here. I've got these cute little patterns that I've cut out of this die cuts with a view stack and it was one at Michael's that I got and it was I think for five dollars which is really a deal but that was quite a long time ago. I have a lot of stacks of paper that I need to be using so hopefully I go through those this year would be handy. So I'm just going to start adding the layers and you kind of layer them on top. One of them has the three scallops and then this one has the two scallops and then the smaller ones on the side. So I'm just going to do this and kind of layer on top of each other. Here. Very cute. And here are the two eyes that go on like this and then it does have a little nose and the nose goes right in here. So I think what I'll do first is just take a little zot. It's just one of my Zots that I got at Michael's. I know Hobby Lobby carries them as well. I'll just put that kind of right in the middle as I have the two eyes here to kind of gauge where this needs to go. I think it's going to go about right there. I'm going to kind of bend it up just a little bit, I think, to make it stand up just a little bit. And then I'll just add the glue onto the back of these eyes here. I think this would really make a cute little like Valentine's Day or it doesn't even have to be Valentine's Day but it kind of made me think of Valentine's Day with the colors that I'm choosing here. And then I have a seal here on the side. So you can use your double stick tape if you want or you can use this um, Scotch Quick Dry Glue. And I've had a lot of questions about this tip here that's on this. And this is called, it's from Scrap Perfect and it's called the No Clog Writing Cap. And you can also use these, they come in different sizes, and you can also use them on your glossy accents. So if you YouTube this and look for scrap, C-R-A-P-E-R-F-E-C-T, there's only one P and it's all one word. If you go to scrapperfect.com, you will find it. And that's the lid. See, the lid goes on like that. And that's what keeps it from drying out is this little needle. Like It's not a real needle, but anyway, it looks like a needle except for it's not sharp and it goes right in there and it is amazing for keeping it nice and closed so i'd highly recommend it well worth it they're a bit pricey i mean i've got mine i actually bought mine on amazon it was eight dollars because there's a 15 dollar minimum order on the scrap perfect website and initially i bought like three of them when i just need like one more then i just buy that from amazon and i'm sure ebay has it as well so, okay, I've just gone ahead and glued that down there. And now we've got two little wings that go on the back, the little arms here like this. And I think I am just gonna put that on with a little glue dot. It's just easier for me to kind of eyeball when I do it that way. So I'll just kind of put that here. And then I'll do one on the other side here with another little glue dot. Okay, kind of eyeball to keep that centered. Okay, and the next thing I have here is a cute little tag that I made. It says, hope your day tickles you pink. And this is from the This and That from Arts TV stamp set. And I think I'll just add this on again with some more glue dots. Just need two of them here. They'll add it right on. I could add some mounting foam onto the back. That would have been cute too. So just kind of angle that a little bit. Hope your day tickles you pink. Did that, and now the last but not least is I have this cute little flower with a sweet little brad, and the brad I hear I have here is from Doodlebug Designs, and it's called Boutique Brads. I got this at Tuesday mornings, so I'm just gonna add some glossy accents to the back of this. Glossy accents would be really good because it's a more sturdier glue to kind of hold this down. So I think what I'll do is make the pillow box. You guys can see it and then I will um, add on the cute little flower in her hair. So you're just gonna push this down. This is a pillow box. So I'll open this up a bit. Push that down here. Push that up there. Actually, I'd probably do it reverse that just so that the sealed part, the closing part is facing down. I think it just looks neater. So that's what I'd recommend. So you push that down here. There's the two sides. That is so cute. And last but not least, I'm going to add a tiny little flower to her hair. I'll kind of press that and I need to hold that down just a little bit. But that is my completed project, this cute little owl pillow box. I hope you guys enjoy it and have a fabulous day, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.